So here's a little test. In the next few moments, I'm gonna pause for five seconds, and during this pause, I'm gonna ask you to try and count your heartbeats. Let's go. So how'd you go? It turns out that some people are better at others at understanding their internal environments, something which is called interoception. We know that the hormone oxytocin can modulate how we perceive our external environment, particularly social cues in our external environment, but new research suggests that it may also modulate how we perceive our internal cues by interoception. A new study from Brighton and Sussex Medical School looked at the role of oxytocin in interoception in alcohol users. I spoke with lead author of the study, Sophie Bechter, about what they did and why they chose alcohol users in particular. Interoception is a general sensitivity toward bodily sensations. Some studies suggest that emotion arises from the integration of such afferent signal. We also know that oxytocin is an empathic facilitator. Therefore, we wanted to measure the impact of oxytocin on the objective measure of interoce interoception, which is called interoceptive accuracy. Also, some recent work uh, showed that interoceptive accuracy is impaired in people suffering from alcohol use disorder, and oxytocin is quite promising in such addiction. So we, we, we recruited social drinkers, and we're interested in characterizing the impact of oxytocin on interoceptive accuracy in social drinkers. We were expecting that oxytocin will increase interoceptive accuracy compared to placebo, and that this increase would be more likely to occur in every drinker compared to low to moderate drinker. In this study, 32 males visited the lab three times. The first visit was a baseline visit. The second visit, they were administered either oxytocin or placebo, depending on their randomization. And the third visit, they were given whatever spray they didn't get at the second visit. 40 minutes after the nasal spray, they completed two interoception tasks. One was a tracking task, where they were asked to count their heartbeats during different periods of time ranging from, say, 20 seconds to 50 seconds, much like the task at the start of this episode. During this time, their heartbeats were measured by using a finger sensor. So that's how they were able to actually measure their heartbeats. Now, the second task was a discrimination task where they were actually played auditory tones. In one condition, the tones matched exactly their heartbeat. And in the other condition, they were staggered. So they didn't actually represent what their heartbeat was. And the participants were asked whether the tones actually matched their heartbeats or didn't match their heartbeats. Here's what they found. So on the tracking task, oxytocin reduced interoceptive accuracy. On the discrimination task, oxytocin tended to increase interoceptive accuracy. Conclusion number one, this is coherent with work, suggesting that oxytocin reduced salience of interoceptive signal and favor attentional deployment towards the external environment. We also found that on the discrimination task, oxytocin was more beneficial for heavy drinker. Conclusion number two, we postulated that the attentional switch between internal and external environment is impaired in alcohol misuse. Uh, however, the, the two conclusions I just said need to be tested in further studies. So that's all for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the show either on YouTube or on Instagram. If you're enjoying the show, the best way you can show your appreciation is by sharing the show on social media, either Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. That's all for now.